Hello, thought we'd do a follow-up video and show you that the cabinet survived the lens removal. No scratches, no blemishes, and the lens removal was a total success. Looks great. Got to hand it to New Wave Toys. They build these things. They are superbly built. You have to admire their precision. It's unbelievable. Can't believe the design that would go into something like this. I mean, just because it's small doesn't mean it's not complex. It's very complex. It's just as complex as the big cabinets. I mean, the electronics in here, and I think and I would like to have some comments on this. I'm going to show you the shutdown screen or the shutdown when I shut this thing off. Let's just shut it back off here a minute. You see that screen there? Am I mistaken or does that look like an Android system? And not, you know, the core OS being an Android system. I don't know. That's... I had a Nexus 7 at one time, and it sure looks an awful lot like that. Of course, on boot up, uh, we just get a, you see the LC, you see the uh, backlights come up, and then of course they're, they're a new wave splice screen, and then it loads the code after this, and then it'll load the ROM code here for a missile command. But boy, that shutdown screen sure looks an awful lot like Android to me. So next thing I probably want to do is I'll pull the back off again. I'll look at some of these chips and uh, see what they've used and then go from there. But anyway, I wanted to show you that um, there's the top. I'll snap back in. Maybe one little bitty, one little bitty place right there, but that's nothing. I mean, that it could have been, could have been... Uh, a major damage to the top of you. If you don't do it right, just take your time. And then uh, this is a nice control panel. This kind of has a, like a rubberized uh, feel to it. I mean, they just did a wonderful job here. And then back here in the back, all the uh, decals are back on. Um, if yours won't stick back and stay in place, you know, put just a little bit of adhesive underneath there, uh, some uh, rubber cement or something like that, but um, everything looks and turned out very well. And this is exactly uh, what it looks like now with uh, without the uh, CRT effect lens in there. And the bezel fits good. You don't see anything, you know, protruding into the uh, screen. Like I said, that foam gasket, if you would have left it in there, you'll see it. It'll stick out into that bezel area a little bit because that lens hid that when that uh, lens was it was installed it was you know it hide that so that's but it looks better without it so now it's just the uh, plexi in the front the uh, bezel and then the uh, lcd is right behind that and then if i pull up the uh, setting screen here then you can see that Brightness is still turned all the way up and uh, And actually I prefer the trackball setting there set to uh, small um, When it's playing I think the uh, cursor tracks better that way, you know the trackball sensitivity set to medium But I like the uh, set to the small trackball setting for me it uh, Plays easier that way it's just a fantastic game and it just looks really really great the artwork is spot on everything but you know like i was saying yesterday we could remove that top panel but <laughs> getting into here to get to that screw you know you'd have to take this artwork down and boy i don't you don't want to do that you don't want to disturb that i think that's uh that would be a big mistake and then if you didn't get it back on and then you, you can definitely tell that you you mess that up then it wouldn't look right but anyway that's what it looks like all put back together it is um no artwork was scratched and like i you know i put that protector cover on that front of that screen to help protect that screen 
uh, that, that'll help considerably. Keep fingerprints off, but if you got any fingerprints on it, microfiber towels are your friend, that's for sure. Okay, thank you again for watching my videos. Talk to you later.